Hello, my name is Adam Ahrens, a consultant with Experts as a Service at Analysis Prime. Today, I want to look at the changes to the geomaps, specifically the area and rich dimensions that have been added in this QRC release. So we're going to take a quick look at the changes that have been made to the geolocation and the new flexible region dimensions that have been added. We'll go into SAC and take a look at how it works, and then we'll come back and review what we've seen. So the first thing is that in addition to the latitude and longitude that they have had for location dimensions in the past, we now also have a country, region, and sub-region option as well for any of the dimensions that are used for location. So you can now just know the country, the region, and the sub-region uh, instead of having to know the latitude and longitude. It's important to note that only one instance of each property per dimension can be used. So you can break down any single location into three specific subcategories. Just a few notes on this as well. The country name, it can be the name of the country, specifically the name, the ISO 3 or the ISO 2 ID. Pretty much true of a lot of stuff in SAC. It's true here as well. So for example, the United States can be the United States, USA, or US. Uh, it's also important to know that the kind of the sequential order by size concept is an uh, important consideration. So for five data in Minnesota, as you can see, that I can use the US, Minnesota, and then the county of Minnesota, and you can't really skip over the hierarchy. It doesn't um, work very well. In that, since that is a limited view, you could also consider layering the points of interest um, onto the map for maybe more specific locations that are outside those broader regions. Let's switch over to SAC and take a look at what this looks like. So we're gonna start out in the model. And in this model, is to have a geo region dimension down here, where I'm recording my uh, locations for this particular model. So in here you see I have all my locations and to the right I've added the three properties, uh, new properties. This is the country property, the region, and the subregion. So I've got the United States, Minnesota, and the county of Minnesota where this location is at. And then if we switch over into a story we can see how this works. So in here, you see that I've, I've, in all my data, I've got, now I've got the United States, which matches up with the first level. And if I drill down, see that it does stick to Minnesota. And if I drill down again, we can see the counties in which the uh, revenue in this case was generated. That's what it looks like. Just a quick view of how it's put together. So here you can see I have a layer on my map. It is the drill layer. I've named it regions, and we've just attached it to that that dimension, which has those three layers. And then, I've, in the sense that I've done revenue, so pretty quick and easy setup. No, not much different than other setups. You just point it to a to the dimension that has those attributes attached. Um, it's also important to note if you mix the attribute with already existing latitude and longitude, it'll use the latitude and longitude tends to override. This. So this would be a new dimension where you don't have the specific latitude and longitude. It'd be easier to see what's going on. As a point of comparison, just so you can see the differences, this is the same data, but with a location dimension where I have the geo coordinates available. And you can just kind of see the drill down difference. So I can drill first. It's still in all of Minnesota. Uh, it is in the county. But when I drill the county because I have the more specific latitude and longitude, I can see more like a city outline. So I can see where the stores are at in relation to the county. So you do have more flexibility when you have the, the more specific coordinates, but that's not always easy to put that data together. So knowing a country in, a, in the United States, for instance, a country, state, and county, it's pretty easy to put that together. So what we saw here is the geolo geolocation properties were added into the model for this quarter. A much more easy to manage country region and sub region can now be used. And the limit is you have one per location, so your drill down is slightly limited. Thank you for your time and enjoy this new feature.